All right, almost at our new spot here. Gonna walk out on this little reef. It's kind of made of little crushed up shells. It's like the whole bank is. Usually this is underwater. The water's super, super shallow. So we're able to get out here. The geese and ducks like to hang out in this spot. Big fish right here on the shore. It was just right here. Might have been a big carp or a bass. Whatever it was, looks like it was eating them little fish. They actually look like baby bass. I don't know if you guys can see them. Those little tiny black, little tiny black guys. Oh, there they go. So it looks like there was something hanging out here. I can't tell if it was a carp or a bass, but whatever it was, I spooked it and it took off. But we'll see if we can get them in on this. But yeah, this is uh, made out of like these shells. This whole, this whole island, basically. Usually water wraps are right around it. Another fish just jumped right there. Huh. It's definitely deeper over here. Let's get this fit. Get this little jerk bait out there. And take this stick out of my way. There's one right there. Got one. I think he's gonna be bigger because we're in deeper water. Eh, it's not too much bigger. Not too much bigger. I hope they start getting bigger as we go. Let's try to get that one out first. Give us a little room to get this one out. This one's kind of stuck near his fin, so we'll get it. We'll get it out of him. It's like right in that bone, man. Grab my pliers. I don't want to rip his fin. He needs that thing to swim around. Try to get these little guys back as safely as I can here. Might have to let him get himself off, see what he does. There, there he goes. Come here, little fella. Oh, look at that, he's making his way right back. I'll give him a little scoop. There he goes, go on. Safe and sound. There are definitely bigger fish in here, though. I've caught in quite a few. Let's put this slack back on. All right, let's get out there. Let it pause. Oh, something hit it. As soon as I pause it, it's probably a little guy. We'll start fanning our casts out. being a light lower. Oh, that was as soon as I hit. This is a good one, guys. This is actually a good size here. This is actually a good one. 
As soon as I cast it into a little cottonwood over there, that's eh, way better. Unless we're getting some size here. Nice smallmouth. I don't like when I get caught in the bottom lip. I can't grab it. But, hey, 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 easy. Oh, look at that. Are you gonna go to the bathroom on me over here? Yeah, nice. A little bit of blood in the mouth, not bad. Nice fish. Get you back in. I had a viewer comment that I needed to get the fish back in earlier. But I caught a fish that was 20 inches, smallmouth bass. That's a big fish for here. And I could have swore that thing weighed over at least three and a half pounds. And my scale kept saying 2.7. So I tried another scale and it said 2.7. So I guess it was really lean. You know, it's a river smallie, so they're always fighting current. But I had to just double check before I got that fish back in. And then I measured it, so I'd say, I don't know, two, maybe two minutes, three minutes went by. Put the fish back in, got a good release, but the viewer was a little upset with the time, so I'm trying to get these fish back in faster. Uh, my bait's a little messed up, there we go. But I've never had a fish die on me. I don't want them to die, obviously, I release them. If I see them hurt too, too bad, I might actually keep one if it's big enough, but every fish I've caught was released without being hurt. Jerk bait really works good down here. Puts a lot of flash. <sighs> kind of hitting the same spot over there, but seems like it's a decent spot. Oh, oh, whoa, this one's a beast. Ah, maybe I just hooked it weird. Oh yeah, hooked it right near the butt. I don't count this as a catch. It's funny though, how you hook them weird and, ooh, she got something over there. Look at the size of that, huh? We got a channel, channel cat. A bass? That's a big bass, babe. <laughs> nice, let's get this little guy out, off here. Get him on his way. Get some pictures of my wife's over there. Man, this little guy's really caught down in here. There he goes. Whoop, come on. I'm gonna run over here. You got a scale? We'll weigh that thing. We'll hurry up and get her bass back in so we don't get people all mad at us. She's got a good size, so definitely want to weigh it, measure it, because this is her biggest fish. I don't know where my, uh, oh, there it is. Wow, that's a great, you got a large mouth out of here. I know. That's what I wow, do. that's a large mouth. We're going to get a, I don't see too many large mouths in here, that's for sure. Oops, let's go to portrait. Right there, a little smile. Beautiful. We'll get a little measurement on it here. It's just barely hooked. Well, we might have to lay it down, but I'm judging by the way the bottom lip is to the fin. Almost 18. Yeah, almost 18. Get you will, you will. Right here, wait. I want to get a nice weight on that. It's probably a two pounder. 
zelf. Oh, I can't get it here. Let me try the gill. Hold it, hold it good. There we go. Let's see, what do we got? Two pound, baby. All right. Let me release it, you got it? I don't want this in the gill though. There, I don't want that in the gill. There we go, we're good. And this is a good release. Look at that. I rarely see large mouth in here. So to me that's